Bartosh looks to throw, fires it deep. He's got a man, Mike Lane makes the catch. He's going down the sideline. And will be tackled out of bounds. Mike Lane all the way to the Trojan 32 over a man. And we have a ball game, a minute left. Just when you thought it was looking like it might be over as this clock was ticking down, Mike Lane, we couldn't have said his name more times tonight. He made a few different big plays in that first half. Actually, the first big play I think he's had in the second half, but man, he jumped up, leaping grab, caught that ball. Nice in traffic, too. The three-star receiver transferred from Winnetonka made a perfect play on the ball. Bartosz now down the sideline, incomplete. Looked like there was a little bit of hold on that sideline, that right sideline, but we're not going to get a flag call for the Panthers. Under a minute left now. This one's going to come down to these two teams, offenses and defenses, inside the 35-yard line. You could not ask for a more photo finish than this. Two teams battling it out in short field to see which team can hold and which team can put up points and win this game. So now Bartosz takes the snap, second and ten. He's going to roll to his left side at the 40 right now. Will flick it across his body and intercept it. Trojans pick the ball off and will go down at the 24. Bartosz, I believe that's, that's going to stand. It's going to be a game ceiling. Bartosz tried to flick it down the field. Trojans are going to walk off on a one-off pick. So following that interception from Bartosz, flags, there's flags on the play. Hold on, there's flags on the play. Oh, we're gonna see if it was post the play and the offense is taking the field again for the Panthers, so some madness. So Bartosz flicks it downfield, gets intercepted at the 15. Then flags fly, something happened during the play that the, uh, it was probably a hit that was placed on Bartosz on the near sideline, but you know, now Panthers are going to get the ball back at the 20. Yeah, I saw the junior middle linebacker Cal Netherton hit Briggs Bartosz very hard out of bounds. Briggs hit the turf hard on the sideline. I thought that it was still in bounds. I could have been wrong. It's obviously hard to see from up here. Oh, it does look to be called Trojan's ball. We could have been mis or, uh, incorrect, but yeah. this is uh, quite the situation. Okay, so a little confusion from the referees. So I believe the snap or the, the flags happen post play. So it looks like the Trojans are going to come on in kneeling formation and they will. So the Trojans following a Briggs Bartosz game and ceiling interception are going to walk off to beat the Park Hill South Panthers technically at home in the biggest crosstown rivalry game I've ever been a part of. And it came down to the wire, Mason. I mean, Trojans are going to win this one 42 to 35, but it was a blast. Yeah, you can't really ask for much more of a perfect game than this. Offensive scores back and forth, teams going on runs, teams going cold for a bit. But as we saw, this game was everything we wanted it to be and more. Crosstown rivalries, cross-district rivalry, and it has been everything we wanted and quite the game. Both offenses were potent. Both defenses made stops when they needed to. The interception seals it for Park Hill, but this game was nonetheless amazing. So your final score, Panthers are going to lose this one. Trojans are going to walk out on top following that interception. They're going to win it. 42, Panthers 35. What a blast, Mason. It was awesome to be a part of this. And I've been Bodie Eisenminger, and it was awesome, Mason. I mean, do you have any closing thoughts on tonight's game? I mean, there's nothing more to say that the game didn't already say for itself. This game was just everything you wanted in a rivalry and more. I can't say it enough, can't stress enough how excited both teams were and both schools were for this game. But, uh, yeah, it's been everything we wanted and more. Now let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Tana Jones, in just a moment. So now we're going to send it down to Tana Jones for our sideline report. Hey, Coach, that was an amazing win. You had a last-minute interception. How does that feel to pull off the rivalry win? I'd feel a lot better if we didn't have a penalty at the end. You know, that, that's one thing that, you know, I know the Park Hill, Park Hill South rivalry is um, it's heated, but at the same time, we got 
guys how to win the, the right way or how to lose the right way, one and that. So uh, very, very happy to, to get the win, but I think we can handle some of those situations a little bit better.